What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Speakle, and in today's video, we got NBA teams based on the day players were born. So if a player was born on the first of a month, then they're gonna be on the first team. If they're born on the fifth of the month, they're gonna be on the fifth team, and so on and so on. Let's just get right into these rosters, starting off with players born on the first. And starting off this team, not a very solid team. We got Mitchell Robinson, Larry Nance, Brooke Lopez, Josh Okoge, Daniel Gafford, James Ennis, Robin Lopez, Austin Rivers, Kent Bazemore, Mike Muscala, Gary Payton, Cam Reddish, Amir Johnson, Nick Young, and then a zero overall just because we didn't have enough players to fill up the roster. Next up, we got players who were born on the second and a huge jump in talent for this team. We got Paul George, Siakam, Brandon Ingram, Porzingis, Marcus Morris, Joe Ingles, DeAndre Hunter, Markeith Morris, Jonas Jerebko, Tyson Chandler, Jonah Bolden, and then a few 40 overalls. Players born on the third, we got Jason Tatum, Sabonis, Al Horford, Jonathan Isaac, Derek White, Kendrick Nunn, Hollis Jefferson, Otto Porter, Doug McDermott, Cam Johnson, and then a few 40 overalls. Players born on the fourth, we got Oladipo, D. Rose, Daniel Theus, Colin Sexton, Draymond Green, George Hill, Thibel, Eric Paschal, Frank Kaminsky, Andre Roberson, Finney Smith, Malik Mung, DeAndre Bembry, Kevin Porter Jr., Matt Thomas, and this is actually our first team with a full roster no zero overalls players born on the fifth this team is pretty weak tj warren is the top player we got cody zeller mason plumley t ross ish smith pj tucker ian mahimi emmanuel moutier justin holiday trey lyles lance stevenson sterling brown ed davis royce o'neill and isaiah hardenstein players born on the six we got Giannis antetokounmpo chris paul john wall zion williamson jv spencer dinwiddie goran Dragic, will barton marcus smart Von Looney, Joe Harris, Jay Crowder, Josh Hart, Pau Gasol, and Pat Connaughton. This team is looking very solid. Players born on the 7th, we've got Donovan Mitchell, DeRozan, Kevin Love, Jordan Clarkson, Isaiah Thomas, Jordan Bell, Daniel House, Jake Lehman, Felicio, Tyler Johnson, Nick Stauskas, and then a few 40 overalls. Players born on the 8th, we got Clay, Kemba, Gallinari, Dwight Howard, Rui, Dario Saric, Chetty Osman, Tony Bradley, Glenn Robinson, and then a few 40 overalls. Players born on the ninth, we got Bledsoe, Kelly Oubre, Belishka, Aaron Baines, J.R. Smith, Langston Galloway, Michael Beasley, Luke Maba, Mute, Jerrion Grant, and then some 40 overalls. Some of these teams don't have nearly as many players as others, so they're going to have more, more zero overalls. Players born on the 10th, we got Andre Drummond, Zach Levine, John ja Morant, Paul Millsap, Jeff Teague, Bobby Portis, Nerlens Noel, Tyus Jones, Michael Carter Williams, Dion Waiters, Mihai Luke, Zaza Pachulia, and then 340 overalls. Players born on the 11th, we got Anthony Davis, Malcolm Brogdon, Mike Conley, Miritich, Chris Boucher, Patty Mills, Ben McElmore, Sean Livingston, Kevin Knox, Nasir Little, and then a bunch of 40 overalls. Players born on the 12th, we got Westbrook, Chris Middleton, Shea, Drew Holiday, Davis Bertans, Mo Bamba, Patrick Beverly, Trey Burke, Jeremy Grant, Dwayne Dedman, and then 40 overalls. Players born on the 13th, this is actually our team with the least amount of players. There's not very many players born on the 13th in the NBA. In fact, there's only five. We got Whiteside, Thompson, Shamit, Diallo, and Dante Exum. The rest of the players are going to be 40 overall, so this team is going to struggle quite a bit. Players born on the 14th, we got Curry, Jimmy, Marvin Bagley, Robert Covington, Shabazz, Jaleel Okafor, RJ Barrett, Gary Harris, Wesley Matthews, Patrick Patterson, Nick Batum, Lonnie Walker, David Nwamba, and then 240 overalls. Players born on the 15th, we got D. Lillard, Cat, Tobias Harris, Jaron Jackson, Dennis Schroeder, Josh Richardson, Derek Favors, Jakob Pertl, Ilya Sova, Derek Jones, Boban, Bruce Brown, Luke Cornett, Bruno, and Salah Mejri. Players born on the 16th, we got Embiid, Blake, Wendell Carter, Aaron Gordon, Tim Hardway, Terrence Davis, Zach Randolph, Alex Len, Denzel Valentine, Kobe White, Mike Scott, Reggie Bullock, Luol Dang, and then 240 overalls. Players born on the 17th, we got Buddy Heal, Terry Rozier, OG Ananobi, Rudy Gay, Robert Williams, Gortat, even though he did just retire. We do have a bunch of free agents on this on this roster. You guys probably already noticed that. We got Niang, Alonzo Trier, Claxton, Kyle Korver, Vincent Poirier, and then 440 overalls. Players born on the 18th, we got Bam Adebayo, Clint Capella, 
Bogdanovich, Serge Ibaka, the other Bogdanovich, Reggie Jackson, Willie Colley Stein, DJ Augustine, Zubak, Yang, Gary Trent Jr., Contavious Caldwell Pope, Chris Dunn, Scalabissiers, and Solomon Hill. Then up next, we got players born on the 19th. This is the day that I was born. So this is going to be the team I'm rooting for. You guys root for whatever team you were born on. But on the 19th, we got Jokic, Trey Young, Aldridge, CJ McCollum, Brandon Clark, DeJounte Murray, JaVale McGee, Kelly Olynyk, Kenneth Fareed, Tyreek Evans, Torrey Craig, Raul Nito, Chris Silva, and then 240 overall. So I'm pretty happy with the 19th. I'm glad there's some good players born on the same day as me. On the 20th, we got Ben Simmons, De'Aaron Fox, Steven Adams, Ennis Cantor, Dwight Powell, Alec Burks, Jamal Crawford, Tyler Harrow, Marvin Williams, Kyle Anderson, James Johnson, Ekpe Udo, Goga, Jarrett Culver, and Corey Joseph. On the 21st, we got DeAndre Jordan, Jared Allen, Ricky Rubio, Miles Bridges, Thaddeus Young, Omari Spellman, Al Farouk Aminu, Damian Lee, Jermichael Green, and the rest are 40 overalls. On the 22nd, we got Devontae Graham, Lori Markkinen, Dylan Brooks, Alfred Payton, Rajon Rondo, Duncan Robinson, Danny Green, Harry Giles, Torian Prince, Metu, and the rest are 40 overalls. On the 23rd, we got Kyrie, DeAndre Ayton, John Collins, Jamal Murray, D'Angelo Russell, Yosef Nurkic, Gordon Hayward, Andrew Wiggins, Seth Curry, PJ Washington, Jackson Hayes, Darren Collinson, Brian Forbes, Jeremy Lin, and Chris Clemens. On the 24th, we got Jalen Brown, Vucevic, JJ Redick, Miles Turner, Luke Kennard, Kyle Kuzma, Furkan, Taj Gibson, Noah Vonley, Costa Kufis, and the rest are 40 overalls. On the 25th, we got Lowry, Fred Van Vliet, Eric Gordon, Norman Powell, Karis LeVert, TJ McCullough, Brad Wanamaker, each one more, Thon Maker, Chandler Parsons, Joachim Noah, Dennis Smith Jr., Patrick McCaw, Mario Hizonia, and then one 40 overall. On the 26th, we got James Harden, Rudy Gobert, Montrez Harrell, DeLon Wright, JJ Barea, Mo Wagner, Justice Winslow, Chandler Hutchinson, Malik Beasley, Gerald Green, Avery Bradley, Nick Melly, Kyle O'Quinn, Darius Garland, and Vince Carter. On the 27th, we got Lou Williams, Lonzo Ball, Christian Wood, Monte Morris, Willie Hernan Gomez, Damari Carroll, Myers Leonard, Kevin Herter, Evan Turner, Devin Harris, and 40 overalls. On the 28th, we got Doncic, Bradley Beal, Andre Iguodala, Biombo, Troy Brown Jr., DeAnthony Melton, John Henson, Jordan McRae, Alex Caruso, Jeff Green, Juan Hernan Gomez, Andrew Bogut, Frank Nielakina, Justin Jackson, and Alan Williams. On the 29th, we got Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, Julius Randle, Evan Fournier, Michael Porter Jr., Maxi Kleber, Markel Fultz, Marcus Saul, Carmelo Anthony, Stanley Johnson, and the rest are 40 overalls. And then our final team here, I combined 30 and 31, just because there was there's only three players uh, that were born on the 31st. Because of course, not every month has the 31st, so it's more unlikely that they'll be born on that day. And the highest player on that team was Dante DiVincenzo, so it's not like this team got stacked because of it. But on the 30th, we got LeBron, Devin Booker, Jeremy Lan, DiVincenzo, Jalen Brunson, Thomas Bryant, Harrison Barnes, Sadoransky, Mikal Bridges, Damian Jones, Aaron Holiday, TJ Leaf, Trevor Ariza, Grant Williams, and a 40 overall. So that is going to be all of our teams here. Hopefully whatever birthday you guys fall on, your team ends up being pretty good. And I also want to know out of all these teams, which team do you think is the best? We're just going to hop into a simulation, simulate through a season in 2K. All right, end of the season, Giannis ends up getting MVP. John Morant with rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder, six man. Kawhi Leonard, defensive player. Diallo actually gets most improved. And then Michael Goodrich is going to get coach of the year. I'm not sure which team he is coaching for but they're first in their conference 69 and 13 Doncic, Harden, Giannis, LeBron, Joel Embiid on the All-NBA first team all these first teams are going to be very similar to how they are now because the teams are actually split up pretty evenly the only team with like two great players was uh the 29th with Kawhi and Durant two like superstar players there uh, but these are all the teams nonetheless. Let's get right over here and check out the standings though. So starting off at the West, the, the conferences are a little messed up. Uh, I always started off with putting the first in the West and then the second in the East and then just going back and forth. So whatever city they're in doesn't determine their conference. But uh, in the West, it's going to be Orlando going 65 and 17. Uh, players born on the 15th. Then it's the 23rd, 29th, 19th, 7th, 11th, 3rd, and 21st. The team coming in last place is going to be the 13th, of course. 
that's the one where we did not we only had five players on the team i'm surprised they even won three games but they could have gone 0 and 82 and then the first going to be the second worst team going over to the east it's going to be players born on the sixth doing the best this was the team with Giannis. then it's 26 18th 24th 20th 30th 10th 28th and 14th barely not making it in there where was the 19th i forgot to check okay so the 19th is actually the fourth seed in the west so i'm pretty happy with that that's my my birthday so hopefully they do pretty good going over to our league leaders we still got harden up on top scoring the most points and all the guys here are players we would see up here normally so not really a big change in stats andre drummond at the top for rebounds ricky rubio 9.9 .9 assists per game steals with Kawhi leonard blocks goes to gobert montrez harrell field goal percentage three point percentage goes to Doncic which is actually kind of surprising. He shot 50%, Seth Curry 47%, uh, but stats and everything kind of the same. It's just the teams are a little more mixed up. They're kind of randomized, but determined based on when they were born. But we're just going to hop right in here to the playoffs, simulate the first round, see if there's any upsets or anything crazy happening. So starting off with the first round over in the West, there's actually no upsets. Top four seeds end up moving on the 15th, 19th, 23rd and 29th but over in the east there was one upset players born on the 30th end up upsetting players born on the 18th but the 30th does have lebron james they end up going to game seven but lebron and his team end up coming away with the victory let's simulate one more round and get over to the conference finals find out where our final four teams are going to be and in each conference it's the top two seeds unfortunately for me the 19th has been eliminated by the 15th and we're just going to do a final recap on who's on each team. So the 15th actually has Lillard, Cat, Tobias Harris, Jaron Jackson, and Schroeder. So they have a very solid starting five. They can actually put all these guys in their starting lineup. They just got to move down Schroeder to that shooting guard position. But well, this is a very solid team. Lillard's up to a 96. And then they're facing off against the 23rd. We got Kyrie, D'Angelo Russell, DeAndre Ayton, John Collins, and Jamal Murray. And then over in the West, we got the sixth which has of course Giannis the MVP Chris Paul John Wall Zion and JV again you can kind of have this starting five very solid and then you even got a really good bench as well and they're facing off against the 26 which is Harden Gobert Montrez Harold Delon Wright and Mo Wagner which is kind of surprising because they got a lot of centers for their top players so kind of interesting that they did manage to come out and make the conference finals but let's just simulate two the NBA Finals, find out which two teams are going to make it there. 15th up to a 3-0 lead, and they get the sweep. And surprisingly, the 26th beating out the 6th. So the 6th, of course, was Giannis's team, and uh, they just seem so much better than, than Harden's team. But it's going to be players born on the 15th versus players born on the 26th. And let's get right into this. 15th taking a 1-0, 2-0. And we are tied up 2-2 two to two after the 15th taking a 2-0 lead. Let's see who's going to take the lead. It's going to be players born on the 15th. But players born on the 26th with a huge W here. Harden ends up dropping 36 to clutch up and force a game 7 going right down to the wire here. And game 7 is actually pretty close. But players born on the 15th with a 6-point lead. Looks like they're going to come away with this one. But... I mean, you never know what Harden's going to do here. James Harden trying to get inside, and that is no good. So it looks like the 15th is going to come away with this one. Not sure why Harden isn't in the game right now. They just decided to check him out and take the L here in the NBA Finals. But uh, shout out to anybody that was born on the 15th. Your team does end up a winning here. And that was a really solid squad. Lillard, Cat, Tobias Harris. It's a really solid starting lineup. Lillard went off this season as well. And Damian Lillard, of course, going to get finals MVP right here. And he's going to average 36.6 points per game in those finals. That's insane. 4.7 rebounds, 6.7 assists. Went up to a 96, I believe. He's at a 94 at the start of the season. So improving quite a bit right here. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, make sure that you do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. This has been your boy Spookwell, and I'll see you next time. Peace.
I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and dub it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money.